Hey, Matt here. In this module, we're going to walk through setting up Mage uh, in our Zoom Camp repo. So this should be pretty simple. It assumes you have Docker installed, which is necessary for earlier parts of the course, so that shouldn't be an issue. And all the code I write here will be um, easily accessible from other parts of the course. So don't worry if you miss anything. We'll make sure you understand the concepts, understand what's going on. So this is our, our repo. Uh, there's a branch that I'll make available called mat slash dev course, and that will contain sort of the solutions or a completed instance um, at the end if you want to check what you've done, if you want to make sure uh, things are working as they should. Um, but otherwise, feel free to read through some of this. I'm going to jump to the let's get started section, and we're just going to dive right in. So the cool thing about Docker and, and some uh, other container-related technologies is that it's really consistent. So if we run this git clone command, um, it's going to create a mage zoom camp folder. Uh, if we cd into that folder and then ls la, and these are Linux slash Unix, right, Mac commands. This might look a bit different on Windows. Um, we'll be able to see all the files. And so the magic here is in the Docker compose and Docker file. Before we run any Docker commands, we have to do one more thing, and that's cp uh, dev.env to .env. Now, a .env file contains environment variables um, for your project, and the reason we're doing this is because we might put secrets in that .env file going forward, uh, but it's in git ignore. So I can't have the, dot, the .env file be in the git repo, so I have a dev.env file, and we're copying that over to a file that's ignored by git, so we don't accidentally commit our secrets to Git, which I've done before. It's not fun, it's a security issue. Um, just a little explanation of what's going on there. From here, all we really have to do is run one more command and that's docker compose build. So this is gonna take the instructions in the docker compose file and the docker file and build an image specific to our project. So running that, docker's gonna do a bunch of stuff. This might take a little while, this might take a, a little bit longer, a couple minutes maybe. Um, it shouldn't be too crazy. We're going to reconvene here when this is done, and uh, we'll jump back in from there. Cool. So as you can see here, our Docker images has been uh, built. Um, in the future, some, we push updates pretty frequently to Mage. So you might notice that you're behind a version, or there's something in the top right-hand corner that says, hey, update Mage now. I'm going to show you how to do that currently, just so, so you know for the rest of the course how to update Mage. It's as simple as running docker pull mageai slash mageai colon latest and that's going to pull the latest image from the mage repo so if we run that uh, again we're going to see something similar to the docker compose build this does um, usually require a lot of data so if you have a kind of slow internet connection it could take a couple minutes but what we're doing here is pulling down new layers new images um, from mage and that's just going to update your mage application so if you see the update now built button in mage remember all you have to do is run docker pull mage ai mage ai latest um, and it's going to pull down new images for you. Uh, we'll jump back in once this is done, and we'll get started building our first pipeline. Sweet. So now we have the latest mage image. We have our image built. Um, there's only one thing left to do, and that's run Docker uh, Compose uh, up. And so this is going to kick off the services in our Docker Compose file and start running them locally. And the only services we have is the mage core service and a Postgres service that we're going to use for our first demo. Running this. Uh, the, the process is going to be run in our terminal. Um, so what we'll see here is that uh, this is going to happen in this terminal window. Oh, so take a step back. Because I pulled a newer image, that Docker pull mage AI, mage AI latest, we then have to rebuild the image. So it's possible that um, Docker is going to start build, you're gonna see something building or, or running. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on. but. Docker is going to tell us all of the stuff that's going on. It's going to keep us informed. Um, and the process is going to run in this window. Um, and the other thing that just one other thing to keep in mind, you can always check out like the Docker desktop console uh, to, to keep an eye on your processes. Um, but here we're just running um, the containers. And once you start seeing logs like this, that means that the container's up. So seeing that makes me know, OK, we're ready to check Mage out. Um, so we can navigate to, uh, sorry, the top nav isn't visible, but it's localhost 6789, uh, and that's going to contain our mage instance. So we're going to get this um, usage statistics message. We really appreciate it if you leave it on. It's anonymous. It just lets us know how you're using mage uh, so we can continue to improve the tool. Um, 
If that's not okay with you, feel free to turn that off. Um, I'm gonna leave it on just by clicking close. Uh, and it's time to get started with our first pipeline. So this is how you can configure Mage for um, our Magic Zoom Camp. It's kind of a blank slate. We're gonna build something pretty cool, very simple pipeline from uh, an API to a Postgres destination, um, but that's gonna be uh, in our next video.